Max Imagination here. So I was just one day sweeping up the floor using a broom and a tray. And I thought, that's a really boring process, right? To sweep, sweep up to a pile and into a tray. So I was like, why don't you make it a little bit fun and make a sweeping robot or sweeping machine. So this is a floor cleaner that has a brush. And yes, everything's motorized with my custom made remote. As you can see, the wheels move. So if you want to know how to make this thing, let's get started. So you will need two of these rolls of wires to your desired length. And we have a bottom and top piece of our machine. And then we have four of these DC geared motors along with four wheels that go onto them, eight AA batteries, a 12 volt DC motor, two electrical switches, and then we have two of these AA racks, and we have two bottle caps, and then we have a paper towel roll thingy, a skewer, one of these super glues, and we have a piece of cardboard that I peeled off, soldering iron, hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, some wires, and we have these other pieces of cardboard. You'll also need one of these 5 volt batteries, two of these triangular pieces, and we have these other three pieces for the insulation of our vehicle. And then we have this piece of cardboard here that measures 34 centimeters. This is for a remote. We've got these other two pieces for the remote. And then we have a broom. So first you're going to start out by taking a soldering iron and making two holes in our side pieces each, and then we're going to glue them on to our base. And once you glued the back on, you're going to take this piece here that has kind of a bend and you're going to cut four centimeters off of it and then glue it on to the base of the machine. Then you're going to take a two centimeter piece of wire, electrical wire, and solder it on to one of the contacts of your DC motor. Let's say this one's going to be the positive. And then solder on this red wire that measures two centimeters. And you're going to repeat this process with another two DC motors. Then you're going to solder the negative wire from your battery pack onto the positive wire on the, one of the pairs of DC motors, and then take another random wire, not from the battery pack, and solder it on to the negative side wire of the DC motors. And then do this one more time. Glue each pair of DC motors to the insides of your box that you have through the holes. also glue your battery packs. Solder on a couple of wires to your 5 volt cell. To make a hole at the back of your machine, make sure it is above the 5 volt cell. Now you're going to solder 36 holes into your cardboard paper towel roll holder. Then you're going to cut a brush off using a knife, or you could just take a pair of pliers and pull it out if it's possible. Now once you glued the first group of bristles, you're going to do this 36 times more. Now 
going to cut the ends of the bristles off and make sure you leave two and a half centimeters of the bristles sticking out from the pipe. You're then going to flare each of the bristles out so it looks a bit bushy. Make sure you glue this piece of square cardboard onto the gap so that the pipe doesn't wobble around. Afterwards, you're going to take one of the wires from the 5 volt battery or cell and you're going to cut it short, but then you're going to take a longer wire and you're going to poke a hole in one of the areas closest to the big DC motor, you're going to pull it through. And once you solder that on to your 12 volt DC motor, you're going to take another random wire and solder it on to the other side from the DC motor, the negative end. So you're going to take the top piece of cardboard for the top of our machine. You're going to make a hole for the switch that we have right here, the white switch. And you're going to put it in and put some wires up to it. So you're going to attach the shorter wire that we've cut onto the one side of the switch and the long wire, the random wire, on to the other side of the switch. Once you pull these long or remote control wires through the hole, you're going to connect up the uh, positive end and the negative end on each wire. And you're going to do this to the other side. And this is going to be the hinges. So we have these pieces of cardboard that we stripped off and we're going to glue them on. Now let's make the remote. I'm going on. So this is how the floor sweeper looks like once it's finished, or the floor cleaner. We have the remote here, it has the switches here, so uh, as you can see, this thing moves pretty well. There's the switch up here that activates this thing, and it basically just sweeps up all the dirt that goes into here. And make sure these bristles from the brush don't touch the slanted part, the ramp part, where everything gets swept up. Otherwise, it won't work. And also make sure these bristles, they just touch the floor so it sweeps up. And then I have these little tap thingies here made from a couple of toothpicks and some pieces of cardboard that basically hold down the cover for a machine. You don't care, no, you don't care, no. You just rather watch me fall. From a quarter mile, I can see you at the call. Think about it, Ray will tell you what I saw.
guys, that is all for this week's video showing you how to make this floor cleaning machine here, or floor cleaning, remote control machine, whatever you want to call it. I actually think it works pretty well, better than I expected, and it does sweep up everything in its path, the path of these blades, right? And um, if you like this video, be sure to hit it a thumbs up, comment down below what you think of this thing, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Peace.